Hey guys, so you see, um, there's a bunch of fish in here and snails and stuff like that. Well, there's a couple of fish in here, obviously. Um, but there is always a good idea to, or it is always a good idea to have a predator in the tank with your guppies, and here's why. So, um, the predator I have in my tank is the Platinum Halfbeak, which is this little guy up here now. He doesn't kill um, guppies for the most part until he gets, you know, roughly full grown. Um, this is a female as well. Where'd he go? Where'd she go? Um, this is a female as well. There she is. Um, so they generally get bigger than the males, about a half inch to an inch bigger, I believe. Um, it's either half an inch or an inch. Not really a big difference, but um, they're very tiny and they are a predator. As you can see, um, all the other fish are staying away from her pretty much. And, you know, I mean, I've had her try to eat um, baby um, red rimmed um, uh, Malaysian trumpet snails, which are these things right here. Well, it's not one of those. Um, these things right here, these are Malaysian trumpet snails, and when they're really tiny, they are, let me see, well, they get, that's them in the back there, hang on top, so if you have a small enough one, the Platinum Hampfeek will definitely try to eat it. I believe I saw one eating one as well. Um, but also, um, they will eat shrimp and fry, like fish fry. And because, like, they breed rarely got bees, it's always a good idea to have a couple of them in your tank because uh, to lessen the amount of fungus and bacteria that forms when there's new babies, there's new wild fish as well as um, other illnesses and it cleans up dead fish as well like dead um, shrimp it will eat and uh, probably dead fish as well if you feed to it. So thank you guys for watching and I'm like and add some more of this info into your daily life with the uh, Platinum half beak.